news about Baron Trump. This has never happened before. After months of torment and verbal attacks by irrelevant liberals who feel that as long as you're President Donald Trump's child you're not off limits, it's been strangely quiet about anything to do with Baron Trump. This has likely been a nice reprieve for the young boy. Now he's back in the spotlight again for what just happened in the White House that has never happened before to any child of any American president in history. For some reason, an 11-year-old boy has become a nemesis to the left after having done nothing but be born to two incredible parents. He's exceptionally talented and intelligent and has never given anyone reason to badmouth him, but depraved people seem to create discontent for this kid. Even still, he persists and has just been given an incredible honor that's a first in history. After all that he has been through in his first year as the first son, Baron definitely deserves the gift that could be coming his way that will forever make him a permanent part of the White House. First son Baron Trump may become the first child of a president to have his painted portrait hung up in the White House, America now reported. In the unofficial portrait painted by artist Barry Wingard, President Donald Trump is seen hugging Baron Trump, now 11, at the Republican National Convention in July 2016, reports All That's Fab. While it's an incredible gesture and definitely deserves a spot in the People's House as a way to show praise for our special first family, it doesn't come without a great deal of controversy from Trump detractors, and they're not being too quiet about it. According to America Now, many found it inappropriate. Until this child shows that is somehow worthy of such recognition, aside from being a Trump kid, his picture should not be hung in the White House," wrote one person in all that fab's comments section. Unless in his parents' quarters. He has done nothing notable. It's highly doubtful that same detest wouldn't have been spewed if a painting of the Obama daughters went up in the White House. While there was a fair share of hate for this child, once again. There were also some remarkable Americans who stood up for Barron, the Trumps, and the idea of there being a painting of this father and son. Don't most parents have pictures of their children on display in their homes? One person commented in Newsiosity's Facebook post about the painting outrage. Why should it be any different for the Trumps? They were a gift to the president and his family, added another. It's no one else's business. Hang it while they live there then take with. It's theirs. Grow up please and give it a rest. Wingard also painted portraits of the president and first lady Melania Trump to pay tribute to a president he believes is disrespected, the report added. The talented painter was astounded by all the outrage over his suggested work of art. The lack of respect for the president has gone on a little too far, Wingard said. I'm hoping to change the conversation, he added, according to the Tri-County Sunday. It's been so ugly lately, Wingard said with reference to the July 2017 photo of comedian Kathy Griffin holding a model of Trump's beheaded head. I'm not saying, Trump is, right on everything, he continued. We can talk policy without being ugly. At least, I hope we can. For me to go into this realm is unfamiliar territory, he said, explaining that although he supports Trump, voted for him, and painted him. He's not necessarily a political person. If I painted Mrs. Hillary Clinton or if I painted former President Barack Obama, I would never paint them in a way that was ugly. I don't feel like that's being American. America now has more. Wingard painted President Trump sitting at his desk signing his first executive orders, while another portrait features the Furs Lady at the inauguration, wearing a powder blue suit. After he finished the paintings, Wingard reached out to Republican Rep. Mike Kelly of Pennsylvania about gifting the portraits. Kelly admitted it was unusual for unofficial paintings to be displayed on the White House walls. However, he was struck by the beauty of his constituents' work and agreed to deliver them to the White House. This is a person taking their talent and their time to show their appreciation, Kelly said. Barron is a very upstanding child and a good example and role model for other children. He represents the result of great parenting, which is something society needs more of and his detractors can learn from themselves. 